All right guys, now we can install the rear struts or shock absorbers. Now, at first glance, you may be like, okay, this is gonna be easy. I already installed the ones on the front, so the back ones will be a piece of cake. But actually, the back ones are quite a bit different. Thankfully, I'm gonna show you guys a really easy, kind of a cheating way to uh, make this process a whole lot easier. So go ahead and start installing this exactly as you think you would. Go ahead and start with the bottom. Take your nut and bolt, feed it through the bottom half of the strut. Oh, that's nice. And let's see if we can get it. There we go. Now, of course, hand tighten this. Just grab your two wrenches, and it's pretty obvious what to do from here. Now that your strut is securely bolted to the bracket on the frame, all we have to do now is go ahead and bolt in the top part and we'll be good to go, All right? Now, as you can see, the bottom of the strut went on perfectly, it's looking good. Now let's go ahead and take care of the top and, okay, it looks like we have a little situation here. The top of the strut is way off position to fit in the bracket. Now, whenever this happens, we have a couple options. What we can do is first we can get a strut compressor tool, which is basically a tool that compresses this and then we can push this piston down and it makes the strut smaller. Then hopefully we get it small enough where it could fit inside this bracket. These two holes can connect, but I have a little bit better idea. Thankfully, this go-kart frame was built where the roll bar and one hinge is supporting the back connected to the front. Now obviously as you can see this go-kart does not have a roll bar on it which means that the only thing connecting the back to the front is this hinge right here. If you can see over here and on that side too there's a hinge system. So therefore I believe that if we jack up right here then what it's going to do is it's going to allow this back end to pivot and drop down, therefore making sure that the strut lines up perfectly with the bracket. So again, the mechanics can keep their fancy tools, but what I'm going to do is just jack up the middle until the top of the strut fits in the bracket. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm about to show you. So once again, as you can see, there is no possible way that this strut is going to fit in this bracket, even if you were the strongest person alive. So what I did is I positioned the jack right in the middle of the go-kart where it pivots and we're gonna start jacking up. Now, go ahead and pay attention to the strut and bracket placement as I begin to jack it up. As you can see, it gets closer and closer and closer. Now what you wanna do is you actually wanna keep an eye on this because you don't wanna go too far. And the reason for that is if you go too far, then not only is it too far above, but this entire back end is gonna to be too far down and you're gonna to have to pull it back up. So go ahead and go slowly once you get to this point. And if you just go ahead and look, I know you guys don't got a good angle on the video, but if you go ahead and look, that position right there looks pretty darn good. So now what you need to do is go ahead and take your bolt, put it through, Oh yeah, look at that. You didn't even need a freaking hammer. Way to go, Bucky. Way to use your head. Now bolt this on, tighten it up, and you'll be good to go. Alright guys, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The rear strut is on perfectly and we never even had to touch a strut coil tool. Just a little bit of creative thinking, thinking outside the box, and we're good to go. So now what you need to do is go ahead and do the exact same thing to the opposite side, and then you're gonna wanna lower your jack. And once you lower your jack, your back end is now supported by the struts. So how awesome is that? Pretty freaking sweet. So in the next lesson, uh, I can't remember what we have to do, but we have to hook up the fuel system soon enough. So I'm just gonna admire this for a few more seconds. And uh, while I do, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.